Good evening and welcome <laughs> back to another challenge for GeoGuessr. Stop coughing, everybody. <laughs> we are back with our time challenge posted to the subreddit for you guys to play along with us. Uh, so follow the link, record your scores via video, via screenshots, whatever you want to do it as, and then post them to the subreddit so we can see how you did, and then you can become the weekly champion. Uh, today we have myself, Modi Apparatus, and Alzarath. <coughs> Fixer. Goody gumdrops. And the Pastafarian. Greetings! And before we get into this week's challenge, we have to address the business of last week's challenge, which was a top score of 18,451 from... I don't know if I have the name here. User GeoGuessr oh, from Reddit. GeoGuessr. GeoGuessr was the user. Okay, got it. Okay. A little confusing. <laughs> GeoGuessr got the score. Man, that's a tremendous score. Gotta, gotta, gotta give you props for that. Uh, honorable mention... To Nozzle the Clown with 17,571, and he said this is his first time doing the challenge with us, so thank you for joining us, and uh, that's a really good score. Any other week, that would definitely take it. And uh, also, honorable mention to Mr. Miyogi. 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 For 16,433, also a very good score. So, man, some really good scores here. We could not mash those. I'm just telling you guys right now. We're not getting any close. We're close to that. Uh, Also, a special honorable mention to uh, Nora, who was the first video submission we had for the challenge, which is fantastic. So, thank you for doing the video. We appreciate that. And uh, thanks for playing along. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks, Nora. Thanks. Thank you. So let's get into new business now. We got the two minute time challenge. The seed is down below in the description if you want to play along and then make sure if you are going to post your score, capture screenshots or video or whatever, however you want to do it. Uh, everybody ready? Uh-huh. Ready. All right, let's get into it in three, two, one, go. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Wow, did we have a pretty phenomenal week this week? We had something like 10, eight or 10 submissions above 10,000. That's crazy. That's the first time that's happened. All right, miles per hour. We're uh, going down the line. Not very many coniferous trees. Discover Tennessee. Well, that was easy. So let's go right there. This is the walking tall... I don't know. Let's go down the road, see if we can get a road sign. What was that? Tennessee Department of Transportation. All right, let's keep going. So we're going to get a good score regardless. We're just going to hope for a a road sign that could better our score. But we'll probably get about 2,200 anyways, 2,500 maybe. So yeah, like 10 submissions above 10,000. That is crazy. And then 18,000. Man, on a a two-minute challenge, 18,000 is pretty damn good. That's crazy. That's well done. All right, we may have had a, a sign here. Glendale Road. That's not that's not good enough. We need a city. Let's um this is probably not in town, so let's go on a, a road outside Nashville. Alright. Just keep going. Not a whole lot. Alright, maybe we can get a barbecue. I think I'm going to be stuck with this this guess in the middle of Tennessee. That's okay. I'm sure everybody else will too, so our scores will be most likely pretty damn close to each other. Here it is. Yeah. All right, that's going to do it for round one. Uh, I managed to find a sign that said uh, walking trail for Tennessee. Yeah, so yeah, I was in I the right state too. at least. And uh, I picked the eastern side, unfortunately, so my score was 2585. But uh, I'm happy with that. It's a pretty decent, uh, pretty de- decent take on it. Uh, fic- or Pasta, you did the same thing pretty much? Yeah, I uh, found the sign right at the end and put my thingy southeast of Nashville and got 2,769 points. Oh, when you get so close like that, the exponential points are kind of a. Uh, yeah, like you're just, it's you're kind just of like, a turn off. Just to the west of me. And you got like 200 more points than I did. So that's that's yeah, something. Ridiculous. Uh, Fixer, how'd you do? Yep, I saw the same sign. I, I went way down the road and I couldn't find any kind of road signs or anything. So I picked southwest as Nashville and I got 3173. Seriously, nice. again, like just a few kilometers or whatever away and you get another 300 points or so. Uh, yeah. Elzrath, how'd you do? 
uh, there was a mine was a Tennessee Department of Transportation sign, but I guessed kind of south of Knoxville and only got twenty five ten. And I thought it was okay, a good so you're closer to me. Yeah. <laughs> what an amateur. <laughs> yeah. I was in Nashville originally and I moved it to the east thinking it was closer to like the mountains, but it, it uh, seemed wrong. more like moist environment, so yeah, guessing a bit further east seemed smarter to me. Because yeah. you get drier Whatever. as you move west. But anyway. Pretty much even on round one here, I'd say. Uh yep. with the with the difference maybe six hundred points total. So that's not too yeah. bad. Alright, round two coming at you. Well, three, two, one, go. Alright guys, got an early lead. I like early leads. And here we are in either South Africa or Australia. And from one of my comments previously, from one of my viewers, he said that Australia is the one that usually has the crappy photos. So we'll go with Australia first. And this looks like a dry part of Australia. So I'm thinking perhaps Central, Northwest. But maybe we can come across a sign. If not, I think I'll probably just stick to Central Australia, hedge my bet. But then again, if it's in like the east or if it's by Brisbane and someone guesses east, then uh, I'll lose that lead that I had. So I can either hedge my bet or I could, uh, I could play for the win. Go, 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 go. I, I really can't stand it when you can only go one, um, one uh, length at a time. It's, it makes it really hard. Gotta just madly click the mouse. Alright, come on guys. Any kind of sign. Help me out here. God, this is the middle of nowhere. Well, one guess is as good as the other. So we'll go with... We'll go with this road off to the side from El Drunda in the center. I'll hedge. I'm going to play it safe. Not a single sign. Go, 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 go. Not fast enough. Ten seconds. Yep, looks like I'm stuck here. Oh, well. It should be a safe bet. We'll see. All right. Yep. Uh, that is round two. Not a lot to go on there. It just kind of looked like yeah. Australia to me. I was yep. like saying it didn't have anything to dis disprove that this wasn't South Africa, but uh, I went with just kind of this hedge my bets center center of Australia, a little bit to the western side because I figured it's a little more arid, and I uh, got twenty one twenty five as my score here. Pasta, how'd you do? Um, I guessed Australia as well. I found several signs on the left side of the road. And um, I picked somewhere in Western Australia and got 2264 points. Very nice. Elzareth? I guess dead center in Australia and got 1968. So. Yep, got it. Australia. Um, as yeah. far as the South Africa thing, actually, the quality of the camera, I have been told, will tell you the difference of Australia and uh, South Africa. Supposedly, South Africa has really good Google images. Mm, good ah, to know. Good, to, good know. to know. Fixer, similar, similar take on it. Yep, exactly. I went with Australia because of the quality of the images. Uh, I didn't see any signs though, not a single sign. I just kept on going and going and going. Yeah. So I, I, I picked Central Australia, just a little to the west, and got twenty eleven. Sounds like we have a very close match going on here. Yep. Let's see if around three can be the decider. In three, two, one, go. All right, so I think I got a little bit of a lead, but not too much of one. All right, so we got a Dodge Challenger. I can't make out that license plate. The name is Michael LaFleche. I, I, what kind of, oh, this is a, oh man. This is a, a photosphere where we can't move. Oh man, this is gonna be a huge failure. The picks are going to be all over the place. So, let's go to the sun. Where is the sun? So the sun is to the west. Um, there is north. It is to the west. Well, that is not going to help us. Um, this looks this looks very arid, you know. 
I don't want to. I mean, that looks like a French name, but I don't want to say this is France. This is a an American license plate. So I, I would assume this is something you'd see. Well, hell, I don't know. What's someplace dry and somewhat mountainous? I mean, would this be Texas? I don't think so. You guys, I have no clue. I, I wouldn't guess Colorado. New Mexico? I don't know. This looks... I have no idea. I'm just going to go with New Mexico. I'm, I'm totally stumped. Totally screwed. How about shoes? This has got like khakis and loafers or something. This is the key right here. I just can't tell what it is. Idaho? Is that Idaho? That's like a tall state. That looks like Idaho. But I'll stick with New Mexico. I uh, did not expect California. All right. Uh, I went with uh, Idaho, actually. Didn't have much yeah. to go off of. I think the you license uh, plate... American guys had an advantage here because of the license plate. No, The no, license it... plate was for Illinois, actually. I couldn't actually. tell what the license plate was. No, it was, it was <laughs> oh, Illinois license plate. Okay. And that was it was in California, so it didn't really make it. It didn't make a whole lot of difference, uh, as far as I could tell. It was either New York, or Illinois, as far as I know. Um, anyways, I went with Idaho. I got twenty one forty three. Uh, pasta, how'd you do? Um, I went with Arizona because it looked uh, southernish to me. The sun were standing right in the west, west I guess. Yeah, and um, I don't know. I <laughs> couldn't do anything with the license plate other than it was American to me. So, yeah, 2409 points. All right, not bad, not bad at all there. Uh, Elzrath, how'd you do? Um, I was hovering between New Mexico, West Texas, and Arizona. Um, you had limestone there, you had kite, which is that those mounds of rubble, uh, the little, like, dust-looking stuff. Um, you had sandstone and stuff like that, which led me to believe it was the south. The vegetation's very... West Texas through Arizona. Uh, as you go further north, you're going to run out of that kind of vegetation. Hmm. But I got 2308 because I guessed eastern Arizona to try to hedge my bets over there. That did not look like California to me. It's usually a little bit more no. verdant in California. Yeah, and it's even like where, where the marker is, it's very it's a green national park there. So it might, I don't know if that green stuff matters. It's part no, signifying parks, but I don't know. Uh, Fixer, how'd you do? Yeah, that was a tough one. I, I zoomed into the plate, and I didn't know it was Illinois, but I could barely make out the state in the middle of the plate, and it looked like a tall, skinny state. I already put my marker down in, in New Mexico, but I, at the last second, I was thinking about Idaho. I stuck with New Mexico and got 2171. I should have listened to my gut. Yeah, I'm not I'm not convinced it was an Illinois plate, but I do think the Illinois plates kind of look like I with the blue on the bottom. Well, Illinois uh, is kind of tall and behind. skinny, so... And it is, yeah, that works too. And so. so is Idaho and, of course, California. I don't know what the California plates look like, so that, that couldn't get a frame of reference there. But uh, anyways, it didn't prove to be that much of an advantage for us, Pasta, anyways, so you're uh, uh, on even playing field still. Pretty even even scores here so far. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, really. going to be a really close one. Yeah, very so much far, so. I think I'm last still, though. <laughs> I don't know. You had one round where you're ahead, I think. So. Yep. Yeah. All right. Round four coming at you right now. Three, two, one, go. Well, guys, we're neck and neck. I think uh, pasta might be in the lead, but it probably not by much. Okay, so we're in the water. Jose Luis Jr. is the photographer. This will be a tough one. We've got some pretty poor image quality. We got houses on the water. All right, let's go. Since it's tough, let's go to the let's go to the sun. Where's the sun at? All right, sun is to the south a little bit. Right there in the southeast. That That's not helping too much. It may be in the north, but it is summertime, so we're probably in the northern hemisphere. But where, I have no idea. People are swimming. I really don't know, guys. I really don't know where this is. Probably America, but I mean, it may not be. I'm going to go with America. 
Let's let's go with Florida, I guess. No, there's no palm trees. Let's go with the north. New Jersey. That's a little hilly for New Jersey. How about Maine? I can't tell if there. I don't think any of these are coniferous trees. Rhode Island? I, I'm stumped. I don't know. I don't know. This could be California even, you know? Oh man. I don't know what to do. I'll go with the eastern US. Central East. Or East Central. Yeah, I was afraid that would happen. Oh my god. This was the separator here. Now, we are no longer tied, guys. We are no longer tied. <laughs> Aww. Uh, I went with the Mexico and got 68 points. Ouch. So that's it. That's it. Anybody else have a reasonable guess? Yeah, I, Pasta? I have a reasonable guess. Um, yeah, I did the sun trick, so it had to be quite south of the equator. Uh, so somewhere in the vicinity of South Africa, Australia, or South America. And I went with the east coast of South Africa, somewhere... Um, near Swaziland, and I have t 2,605 points. Jeez, I thought the sun wow. was south. Uh, was... Yeah, so did I. The yeah, sun was it south. Was morning. That's... So? Yeah, I... yeah, it's still north. Ah, interesting. <laughs> yeah, but uh, <laughs> the people in the water, they had dark skin color. Oh, the image was the too blurry. Poor. I couldn't tell. Yeah, I, yeah, there were four or six people, and they all had dark skin. So it had to be South Africa or somewhere at the coastline of uh, the south of the African continent. Props to you, Pass. That's a really excellent guess, man. I don't even know if I could have got it with the sun. Apparently, it's not quite right there. But um, uh, Fixer, how'd you do? Oh, that was definitely Rhode Island. I got one seventy six. <laughs> Ouch. Yes. Right. Uh, I guessed along the Gulf of Mexico and got oh, not alone at least. See, so I, I was Pasta may have won this one unless he wow. really botches the next guess. I was going to uh, guess yeah. Florida, so but there yeah, were no palm happen. trees. No, those yeah. trees are weird. I wasn't sure what those were. Right, and there were no coniferous Maybe trees, so it wasn't trees? the far north. Yeah. Uh, it was a tough one for sure. Yeah, for indeed. sure. Pasta is a runaway trade now. we got to stop him somehow. Uh, let's go round five and see if he botches it. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. All right, well, Pasta's got this in the bag unless he messes up here. All right, so we're in the woods. And this is feeling like pretty much anywhere in America or maybe in Scandinavia. Let's uh, let's go to the sun first. Sun is, is to the extreme south. So, Northern North America or Scandinavia, Karis Kanti. So, this is probably Finland. So, let's go in Northern Flin Finland to start out. But, let's keep on going, see if we can get something better. What was that road? Yeah, see? The Ks, the double vowels, this is Finland. Now, the trick is to get a city. Which I'm, I'm sure we're not going to get here. But, got to go down the road and check anyways, right? So the only way I'm going to win this is if Pasta doesn't see those road signs. And he guesses North America somewhere. That's the only way I'm going to win. If he guesses anywhere in Scandinavia, I probably will lose. Unless I can get like really, really close to the right spot. But probably not. We'll guess right there on that road. <gasps> A main road. Kusanemi. Oh man. Kusanemi. Oh, panic. Kusanemi. Kusanemi. Oh, no. Okay, that could have been a That's... lot worse. All right. 
Uh, I went with, uh, I was looking at the trees and looking at things, and I was thinking like something like Estonia. Um, and uh, I decided to hedge my bets towards towards Central Europe, so I went with Lithuania at the end of it. And I got 22.15 is my score here. Pasta, how'd you do? Um, I did the sun thing right away, and because uh, it was far no uh, it had to be far north, I uh, decided it had to be Scandinavia. I went down the road in one direction and found uh, two ways in with uh, some signage there, and that was definitely Finnish. So I went with Finland somewhere uh, near the west coast and got 2,702 points. Nice. We're not, we're not going to catch up to you at this point then. Uh, Fixer, how'd you do? Yep, I saw the, the Finnish signs and whatnot, and I guessed um, a little bit north in Finland and got 2520. Okay. Yeah, I, I was thinking fin Finland because of the two vowels in, in the name, like the two I's together. I was like, okay, that might be Finnish, but I wasn't too sure. I was going with I was going with the Estonia, but I wasn't I wasn't confident about anything here. Um, Elzareth, how'd you do? I didn't find any signs with the language on it, unfortunately. Um, it I guess Sweden because it looked well Scandinavian. So I got twenty two seventy seven. All right. So final scores. Pasta's going to run away with it. I think I'll have well maybe the lowest score here. We'll find out. I had. 9,136 as my score here. There's one just glaring, that, that round four there, just glaring, standing out at me yep. with the poor score here. Uh, Fixer, how'd you do? 10,051. That damn South Africa killed me. Yep. And Elzareth? 9,148. And Again, the score, the to, South the Africa score to beat. The score to beat. Pastafarian. It is 12,749. All right. So yeah. that is not the end of this, though. You guys can post your own scores in the subreddit and on the channels if you prefer. And we will take a look and see who we can crown the weekly champion. I don't know. This is a pretty, pretty, pretty evenly matched one with a couple of good guesses. Yep. I think that they'll definitely run away with this, though, on the subreddit. So uh, we look forward to checking them out and to tune in next week, Wednesday, for the scores. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.